Hey there, folks. It's me, Michael Bach, your diversity dude, and it's time for another episode of Monday Morning Musings. Except it's Tuesday, so, you know, just go with me here. Anyway, I uh, wanted to talk about an article that I read in the Global Mail recently, and I am so happy to see this headline. Um, and the headline read, Calgary Stampede retires Indian village name rebrands indigenous space Elbow River Camp. Now, for those of you who don't know, I uh, Calgary Stampede is a, a big tradition um, in the Calgary area. It's also something that I enjoy attending and CCDI always does a big party. And, um, and one of the traditions that's been around for a hundred years since 1912 is an encampment of uh, teepees by some of the First Nations in the area. Uh, a quiet space, if you will, within the kind of chaos that is the Calgary Stampede. And one of the things that has always bugged my button is the fact that they still called it the Indian Village and that they also still referred to the Indian Princess. And I'm so relieved that the Calgary Stampede in their uh, infinite wisdom is finally rebranding um, to speak more about the indigenous peoples of the Southern Alberta territory. Um, so pleased to see it. Hats off to the Calgary Stampede for uh, getting with the times. Um, there's more work to do there, st Stampede people, around making the games more inclusive or the, the Stampede more inclusive. It's not really games, whatever, anyway. Um, but this is a great step in the right direction. So that's it for me. That's all I want to talk about this week. Hope you're having a fabulous week. And remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link somewhere here. I still don't know where it is. I really need to look that up. Anyway, click on it. Do it. What's the worst going to happen? <laughs> and I will see you next week on Monday for another episode of Monday Morning Musings. Thanks. Bye.